All right, so I've wanted to cover this topic for a while now. Have you ever used an AI model, carefully crafted a really detailed input, only to feel like the AI completely missed half of what you shared? It's frustrating, right? It turns out, though, that this is happening more often than you think. Despite claims from providers about handling massive inputs like tens of thousands of words, documents still sometimes feel like they get cut off. These context windows don't always seem to align with the glowing statements from companies, and it's left people scratching their heads. Some in the industry even suggest that the big memory capabilities of AI models are a bit of a myth, and there is some truth to that. So let's unpack what's really going on here. First things first, let's define what we're working with. A context window represents the amount of information or tokens an AI can read at one time time. Tokens can be anything from whole words to fragments of words and even punctuation and syntax. When an AI generates a response, it does so by deciding what token comes next based on all of the tokens it's allowed to consider. The context window size defines how many of those tokens the AI can juggle simultaneously, taking into account everything from user prompts, jailbreak, system instructions, past inputs, and sometimes even its own pre Previous outputs. For example, if a model claims to have an 8,000 token context window, it means it can analyze and remember up to about 8,000 tokens at a time, which roughly equates to about 6,000 words. But what happens when the input exceeds the limit? Different providers handle this overflow in different ways. Some simply cut off the earliest parts of the conversation, meaning the AI only sees the most recent input. Others might drop chunks from the middle while keeping the start and end intact. Ideally, this should be pretty straightforward. 8K, 32K, and even 128K context should work pretty seamlessly, right? In our corporate-driven world, context windows, those handy tools that define how much the AI model remembers, are often marketed with a touch of flair. The promise of massive memory capabilities can sound too good to be true because, well, sometimes it is. Marketing teams are great at hyping up numbers like 128K context, but the reality is often less impressive. For example, GPT-4 is technically capable of handling 128,000 tokens of context, but only if you're a premium user or someone who has access to the API. Regular free tier users? Well, they're capped at 8,000 tokens. Even with the API access, there's no guarantee you'll get the full advertised capability. This kind of, it can do it, but with an asterisk approach has led to plenty of public and even professional confusion. On paper, these models seem to have superhuman memory, but in practice, users often report issues with their conversations not getting anywhere near the proposed limits. Now, to be fair, not all AI providers play this game. There are some outliers who consistently deliver on their promises, but let's be real, these niche players don't represent the industry giants. The opaque systems run by major corporations are where the real confusion arises, leaving users unable to monitor or confirm how these context windows work in reality. If you've ever wondered why some people call high context models a myth, it's because the issues are baked right into the system. Let's imagine you're an AI provider for a moment. You've built a solid 8K context model, but now the public is clamoring for 32K or even 128K models. In response, you develop the larger model, but it does seem to have some flaws. If you train your new shiny 32K model based on the outputs from your 8K model, you might unintentionally make it favor a similar structure. Instead of using the full 32K context, it was built to go ahead and take advantage of. But hey, you're optimistic, and the fact that your model kind of defaults to what it knows best from an 8K setting is totally a temporary problem. Your team keeps pushing forward and manages to make some corrections even as your competition rushes to the market with their own 32K and 128K models. But there's a new issue coming up. 
the additional mechanisms you're adding to expand the context window might not function perfectly yet, so you market the theoretical potential while trusting your team to work out the bugs in the meantime. Traffic starts pouring in, and so does the good news. You've trusted your team, and now they've told you that the theoretical window is now a practical context window. Meaning your users can now take advantage on a regular basis of the 128K or 32K model that you've built. But a new problem comes with the popularity. Keeping your website online becomes a bit of a challenge, as the energy consumption of your model skyrockets to handle all of the new users. During peak traffic, you face a tough choice. Sacrifice some context to free up computing power and serve more users, or risk crashes and downtimes. If throttling the context back on your model feels a little bit too drastic for your organization, there's another option. Truncation. Instead of dropping context outright, you could summarize chunks of information, giving the appearance of a longer memory. The result is AI that seems to remember more than it really does, creating a false sense of seamless context. It's clever, but far from that transparent system that users expect and want out of these providers. The promise of massive context windows often collides with the reality of technical and logistical limitations. So let's wrap this up and bring it all together. To stretch context limits, many providers rely on summarization by condensing a conversation from something like 20,000 tokens to 2,000 tokens, they free up space for additional user inputs, creating the illusion of a larger context window overall. But this comes with a bit of a price. Fine details get lost in translation. While summarization can make interactions smoother, it's far from perfect, and its reliance highlights the gap between promise and practice in artificial intelligence right now. Some experts I've had the pleasure of sitting down with dream of a future with limitless context windows, where AI can truly remember everything and anything. It's a nice idea, but we're definitely not there yet. Even now, many systems use summarization paired with retrieval augmented generation to simulate these extended memories. It's really smart, honestly, but it's not the same as true infinite recall. When skeptics claim that context windows beyond 32K are a myth, they're not entirely wrong. In fact, without backend access to verify these claims, it's easy to see why these ideas persist in the community. AI operates in a strange, often contradictory space. Both things can be true at once. Context windows are real, but their performance isn't always guaranteed. They're impacted by traffic, computational resources, hidden prompts, and countless other variables. So while you're not wrong to trust your AI as processing tokens, others aren't wrong to question the system's practical limits. Have you struggled to get AI to read large files? Do you think 128K context is a myth? Or do you trust the claims by big tech? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments down below. That's going to be it for today, guys. Short and sweet. Thanks for sticking around. Join me next time where I'll attempt to teach my cat how to socially engineer their way into Google HQ. See you, nerds. <laughs>